debate. Reprise de débat, the Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's my privilege to rise to speak in support of Bill C-476, tabled by the Member for Outremont and Leader of the Official Opposition. Bill C-476, once enacted, would create an independent office of the Parliamentary Budget Officer, separating it from the Library of Parliament, where it is now, broaden the PBO's mandate and access to relevant information, require annual reports to the House of Commons and Senate, and create a streamlined, nonpartisan process for appointment, and finally, ensure that the PBO is capable of understanding and working in both official languages. Why, Mr. Speaker, are these proposed changes to the legislated mandate for the PBO so critical? This government created the PBO to support their once widely touted new, transparent, accountable, and open government. In fact, the Conservatives' 2006 electoral platform committed to create an independent parliamentary budget office authority to provide objective analysis directly to Parliament about the state of the nation's finances and trends in the national economy. As stated by the Finance Minister in 2006, in quotes, Canadians deserve to know the true story of their economy and to live within a budget which is based on accurate, open and honest figures. We must put an end once and for all to the previous government's habit of getting it wrong. Governments cannot be held to account if Parliament and Canadians do not know the real state of public finances. The Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, in speaking to the, of the PBO in 2006, stated, in quotes, such a body would ensure the government is genuinely accountable for taxpayers' dollars and that we maintain fiscal discipline at the federal level. End of quotes. Mr. Speaker, now flash forward to 2013, where the self-same Minister of Finance has had quite a change of heart now that the rigorous analysis that he once so enthusiastically supported has now exposed many problems. The Finance Minister made the accusatory comment about the PBO to the effect that he was wandering off from his mandate of reporting to Parliament on, in quotes, how the government is doing in its budgeting. We note, of course, as a uh, colleague uh, next door to me here has said, uh, the comments by the member for Edmonton St. Albert, that uh, he is deeply chagrined and, in fact, has left the Conservative Party because it has strayed from its principles of openness and transparency and that they have morphed into what they formerly criticized. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, despite these early endorsements for open government and a strong role for the PBO, Seven years later, we witnessed case after case where this government has refused PBO requests for information necessary to deliver his statutory mandate, including estimated cost for the Afghan war, estimated cost for the F-35 fighter jets, the estimated deficit, sustainability of the OAS program, and estimated impacts of cuts to the federal service on continued delivery of frontline services. The mandate and services of the PBO have been found invaluable to the ability of MPs to do their job scrutinizing government estimates and spending. The PBO mandate appears to be quite clear to most, and with the apparent exception of the very government who created the office. What is the mandate? The PBO was created in 2006 with the enactment of the Financial Accountability Act. His mandate is clearly prescribed in law, in quotes, to provide independent analysis to the Senate and the House of Commons about the state of the nation's finances, the estimates of the government, and trends in the national economy. He is also mandated to undertake research and assist committees in the review and analysis of estimates. Clearly, to deliver this mandate, he must have already, he must have ready and open access to financial and economic data to deliver these duties. Accessibility to the all information has regrettably become a matter of ongoing contention for the current PBO. He was ultimately forced to seek a court ruling due to access denials. The court referral related to a request from the Leader of the Official Opposition seeking the PBO's analysis of the effect of cuts to the Federal Public Service on frontline services. Here is what the court ruled vis-a-vis -vis the mandate of the PBO. In quotes, the member for Outremont could, oh, I'll skip that. The critical role played by a strong independent PBO was widely endorsed, oh, whoops, <laughs> I'll skip forward to that. Uh, this is what happens when you're making Justice Harrington. The Parliament of Canada has, by statute, mandated its budget officer to, among other things, estimate the financial cost of any proposal that relates to a matter over which Parliament has jurisdiction, when requested to by any member of the House of Commons or Senate. In order to give effect to that mandate, subject to certain exceptions, section 79.3, the parliamentary budget officer, by request to the de deputy head of the department or delegate, is entitled to free and timely access to any financial or economic data in the possession of the department 
that are required for the performance of his or her mandate. Mr. Speaker, in the course of my role on the Government Operations Committee, we undertook as well a review of how the Members of Parliament can begin to do a more effective job of review of estimates and spending. And in doing so, we heard from a number of experts. Uh, one of the experts worldwide who has uh, stated a strong support for a strong parliamentary budget officer is the OECD. Um, our report uh, noted that the OECD found that the best practices for budget transparency required that parliamentarians have the opportunity and resources to effectively examine any fiscal report it deems necessary. Our, our committee heard from, among others, Dr. Joachim Werner. Dr. Werner is Associate Professor of Public Policy at the London School of Economic and Political Science. And he testified that in order to improve scrutiny of estimates and supply, the first, in quotes, the first is to protect and enhance the role of the Parliamentary Budget Officer. Internationally, the PBO of Canada is very highly regarded, and it's certainly a major change in the degree the Parliament of Canada has access to an independent, highly professional research capacity. He added, though, Mr. Speaker, that based on his experience with similar officers in other jurisdictions, the role of the PBO could have been further strengthened if made a full officer of Parliament with total access to all relevant information. Mr. Speaker, also Canadian expert David, Dr. David Good, professor of the School of Public Administration, University of Te Victoria, testified to our committee in quotes, first I would make the parliamentary budget officer a full agent of Parliament to assist parliamentarians and committees. I think the role and mandate of parliamentary budget officer needs to be clarified and strengthened by making the office legislatively separate and independent of the Library of Parliament thereby operating as a full agent of Parliament. Access, end of quotes. Mr. Speaker, accessibility to all information regrettably became a matter of ongoing contention for the current PBO. He was ultimately, as I mentioned, forced to seek a court ruling. That court ruling uh, related to the request of the member of the official opposition. I can personally attest to the value of the reporting and analysis provided by the Parliamentary Budget Officer. My participation in the parliamentary study on scrutiny of estimates and supply and subsequent examination of government priorities and spending has opened my eyes to the disconnect between the information this government is willing to reveal and the information parliamentarians actually require to make informed decisions on spending taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. Mr. Speaker, as elected members of parliament, we're meant to be stewards of the public purse. We can choose to make informed decisions. A strengthened mandate for the Parliamentary Budget Officer as provided for in Bill C-476 can offer that window. And I encourage all members of this House to vote in support of the member for Outremont's Bill 476, create an independent office of the Parliamentary Budget Officer, broaden his mandate, require annual reports, and create streamlined, non-partisan processes for appointment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh. Oh.